and welcome to my channel. And today, I thought we'd do some upgrades on my mini lathe. Let's get into that. Like I said, I wanted to do some upgrades to my mini lathe. In fact, I want to do a couple of upgrades. The first one is changing everything to steel gears inside the head and all the change gears. The second one is spindle bearings. I think it's real important that I do that. And I chose the tapered roller bearings. But before I could do either upgrade, the first thing that has to be done is I need to remove the headstock and the spindle. And that's what this video is all about. The headstock and spindle removal. Let's do that. The first thing I wanted to do was remove this gear cover. Then I was going to go over to the electrical panel and remove the three wires that are connected to the head and then take off this chuck. First, I need a four millimeter hex wrench. This video is probably going to be just the first in a series of two, maybe three videos. Okay, there's our gear train. Put this on the side. The next thing I want to do is take off this electrical box. And what I need is a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to put everything in my tin can. Okay. I just need to remove these three grounding wires. It's one, two, Three. Okay, the next thing is find all the screws I've dropped. All right. The next thing is I want to take this chuck off. I just think it'd be easier while it's still all connected. What I need is a 10 millimeter open end wrench. Put the screwdriver in between the chuck jaws. Just hold it for leverage. Doesn't feel that tight. Okay. The nuts are off the back of the chuck. What I need to do now, I think, is just tap on it. There we go. A lot of crap inside there. But, okay. Next, I feel the next thing I need to do is take these two large 80 tooth gears off. And I need a hex wrench for that. It wasn't too tight. I think it would be probably a good idea to check these every once in a while. There's a key in here. There's also... a uh, spacer behind it. Gear. Key. Spacer. All right. To get this off, what we need to do is get an open end wrench and take 
this gear adjustment bracket off. I have a 14 millimeter wrench and that's not hard at all. One nut and washer and this comes off. Okay, next. I need, I believe, five millimeter. Is that a six millimeter? That's a five millimeter. Five millimeter hex wrench. There we have it. That come off. All right. Next. Let's get this uh, motor cover off of there. One and two. Now we're here. Let's pull this belt off. I'm just going to pull it off the side of the gear. There we go. What I'm going to do is take a picture, take a photo. So I remember how it went together. The uh, panel, electrical panel, is removed and put on the side. I can pull these wires through. Put those on the side. Now I just need to take the motor out so I can get underneath the head and remove that third bolt. Let's do that. That's a 10 millimeter open end wrench. This is the belt tensioner. Let's see. Take this nut off of here so I could move this around. Let's do that. This is what a five millimeter hex wrench and this is a 17 millimeter box wrench. Okay. Ready to take this motor out. And there we have it. Okay, let's put this motor on the side. And get back to taking this head off. Next. Before I can get to these two head bolts, I need to remove what I think what they were calling them is a wire protector. One. And two. One other thing I need to do is lift this machine off of this tray. Okay, I removed a tray, put that on the side. I removed the uh, wire protector. And now I can get up underneath the head to loosen that head bolt. One loose. Too loose. Whew. Okay, two front bolts are out. Let's get that back one. The last head bolt is a 14 millimeter hex head. And there we have it. Side on there. It's hard to see, I know. That bolt is out. With all the bolts out, I think we could move it over to the table here and start taking this spindle out. Let's do that. Uh, the slower gear here. The high and low gear spins on that. Okay. There's a... Uh, snap ring on it 
snap ring is off. There is a key in that also. Hopefully I don't break it or a gear puller would have been fine for this. <laughs> I don't have one. It's coming little by little. There we go. Now I need a pair of pliers to get that key out. Pliers. Key is out. So there's a washer here too. All right. Next I want to get this bearing cover and this bearing cover off of there. Let's go. Next, the bearing covers. All right, one in a row. <laughs> this, I have to go through the holes here, chuck mounting holes. One. Two. There it is, the third one. Let's see. Let's take there this uh, fork. Can't remember what they call it, gear fork or but it changes it from high and low. To get that out of there, I need to take these set screws out right here. Let's do that. I believe this is a number, it's a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. And this is a number three hex wrench. And I think that fits. Yes, it does. And there seems to be a spring in there with a little ball. And the ball is not coming out. I'm sure it'll come out now, once I pull that handle out. Push the ball all the way through. Yes. And it falls inside the head, will never be found again. Now, there it is right there. Handles out. The next thing that has to be done is there's a small snap ring on here on that shaft so it can come out. There's also a key. Okay, let's see if we can get the snap ring out. Okay, the snap ring is out and I thought I would just tap this shaft out. Let's see what happens. That's not going to work. Ugh. Perhaps I should start using the press I have there. Let's move all this stuff over to the press. Starting to move. There we have it. It popped out and it looks like the bearing popped out also. Okay, let's go back to the table. 
Let's pull this thing out of here. This large gear was towards the front, the chuck side. Let's see if I could loosen these, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're nuts. They uh, tighten up the spindle. I'm going to have to put this in a vise to stop it from spinning. I have a vise now. Right there. I'm grabbing on the smaller diameter. Perhaps that will stop it from spinning when I try to break these uh, jam nuts. <laughs> it worked. Okay, let's go over to the press. Put a couple of pieces of aluminum here. And just check this out, see what's going on. This gear is out. Let's put this back in here. bearing and everything looks like the bearing started to come out I found a one inch piece of brass put my hand underneath there and catch that spindle if I should be so lucky there it is All right, I need to get that last bearing out of there and uh, we'll be good to go. And there we have it. The last bearing. Let's get over to the table and look at this thing. The spindle is out. The head is off the lathe. That's what I was trying to accomplish. I didn't think I had to remove the whole electrical panel, but I did. I didn't think I had to take the motor out, but I did. That was because you can't get to the bolts that hold the head on with the motor in place. And you can't get the motor out unless you take this off. Okay, my mistake, but we got through it. I still have to press this off, but that's not really what I'm worried about. When it comes time to put the new bearings in and stuff, all this will be have been taken off. Uh, it looks like I've accomplished what I was after. Heads off, spindles out. Now I could clean this stuff up and get on to the next video, which is install those bearings and install all the steel gears. So until next time, enjoy.